Hey everyone, welcome to Calico Critter World. Today I'm going to show you my spring town setup. So I've taken the winter setup down and it's springtime now. And so let me take you for a tour around the town. We're going to start on this end of the town. I still have to put some water in the fountain and what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use some blue slime and put water <laughs> into the fountain. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. So we have the red panda family here and they're hanging out in the park. I, those trees back there I did get at Target during Christmas time for I think around three dollars each so those are great because they also double for trees during the non-winter time I took the flock trees out and on the ground you'll see the stones underneath this is scrapbooking paper so you can get that at either Joanne's Crafts or Michael's Crafts and I thought it worked really well because it's super thin and so it lays nice and flat and so the calico critters can stand up on it perfectly I was gonna do grass and then I decided the grass maybe they would tip over a lot easier it would be harder to put up the display so I decided on the paper and I didn't know how it would work out, but it worked out so great. So if you're looking for a very expensive, inexpensive way to do um, the groundwork on your diorama, I highly recommend using the paper. And I thought the stones were really great. I was trying to look for some cobblestone paper, but I couldn't find any. So. I thought this worked okay. So I've got three types of paper down and I'll show you those three types. The park bench and the fountain. This part of the fountain I got at Michael's Crafts. This lifts off of here and the base part at the Dollar Tree. The little birds you see on the fountain and on the park bench are both from Michael's Crafts. They're the Mind Art. And they also have another brand called Ashland and they're quite inexpensive maybe three dollars and we see the popcorn cart with the lamb here and so she's over on this side of the display this time I thought this was a great place for her in the park and you see her bicycle back there I put the roses in there that the, those roses came from the set which is the chocolate rabbit couple and it was hard to put them on her hand and so I just thought they looked great in, in there and then the light back here as you know came from that set that I bought that you saw in the other videos so I'm filming this at night so I have all the lights on in the buildings and here we have the lovely three sisters. <laughs> you got your marshmallow mouse, your tuxedo cat, and the new addition to the family here. The town series silk cat. And they're all dressed up and they're ready to go shopping. And then we have our bistro here. And if we look inside our bistro, we've got our seaside bunnies and our koalas and they are eating in there and enjoying some coffee and some bread and some yummies. And then let's open the door here. Who's in there serving them? There she is. Snow Rabbit herself is working the cash register. 
and she is making coffee for them. You can see the espresso machine there, so cute. That's a great addition to my bistro. So she's making coffee there and the cash register, which I also got um, through Amazon. And then outside the window, you can see the cakes in the window. So cute. And so everybody's enjoying themselves inside the bistro. The koala bears are back there. See if we can get them in frame. There we go. And they too are enjoying themselves back there with their little children running around in the restaurant like kids do. <laughs> you don't see them back there, but they're back there by the mama koala. All right, so we'll put the door back on. I like the, how the doors come off all the way because it makes it easier for me to get my hands in there if I need to. Anyway, so there they are outside. So I got the cobblestone, let me show. Okay, so this cobblestone, this came from Dollar Tree and they sell it around Christmas time and I glued it onto some foam board if you don't follow me on my channel, just so you know where I got it if this is your first video. And I trimmed it with some hot glued some ribbon, but this keeps it nice and flat and it's easy to pick these up and move them around. They come in pieces that are roughly about a foot long and they're about two, two and a half inches wide. And so here I didn't have enough of this paper. So I went ahead and put some of the brick paper down outside the cobblestone. All right, so I have another lamp here. This is from the Town Series. And what I did was I just decorated it on the bottom with some flowers because it's springtime. So these are little flower sprigs that I got off some flowers um, from the Dollar Tree. And I just kind of laid those down around the base of the, the light. And I thought that just took it up a notch, made it real springy. I also got this is a new addition. I got these wooden clock decals, I guess you could call them, or stickers at the Dollar Tree. And I thought those were really great on the buildings. They just kind of accented the buildings, gave it that old world look and worked really well. If you want to see how I made these buildings, um, you can see an earlier video that I did on that. And then I got a new addition is this ivy here that I got. This ivy I got around Christmas time at Michael's Crafts. It's Ashland Ivy. They have a miniature town um, series that they sell from Ashland. And it has all kinds of winter time. So I don't know if they sell that any other time of year, but you want to look for it around Christmas time. I believe I got it at 50% off. The best time to get something like that is just after Christmas when they do a closeout and they sell the remainder of their Christmas stock. Um, I like it because it has wire in it. So it's very, you know, you can bend it and secure it around things and I thought it was the perfect scale. All right, then we have the Persian cats out here, which are also a new addition. And um, there, he's enjoying some popcorn there as they're walking along the pathway. Then we come ac across the boutique. And the boutique hasn't changed very much other than I put the ivy across the top, but I added um, the bakery to the top and that's a new addition so let's take a look at the boutique if you're new to my channel so we got the husky dog mother out here with her babies but we're gonna move her to the side for a bit so I can take you for a little tour 
All right, so here's inside the boutique. I put a nice big picture window for the boutique. I thought that was perfect because you're gonna be displaying things in the window and I used the shoes. That display came from the town series um, Marshmallow Mouse set, I believe. N was it the Marshmallow Mouse set? I think so. And the shoes and then in there you see the clothing display and the mirror and that comes from that other um, town series set and then you see the dark um, piece of furniture back there with the purses on it that came from the tuxedo cat town series i like that i think it works really good inside the boutique so i changed that other one out then moving over Oops. All right, so let's go inside the boutique. So I stained that piece of furniture there um, as the checkout counter. Got the little telephone, which I got at Michael's Crafts along with the cash register and made my own paper bag. And then if we go in here, you can see I put the mirror up and the clothing on the rack. And any extra shoes I had, I put that down there on the bottom. And we don't have anybody working in the boutique right now. I'm still working out who's going to be where. Okay, so I decided to put the husky dog and her cute little babies. Oh my gosh, are they not so adorable? I am just absolutely in love with those baby huskies. I think they're probably my favorite babies. So, so cute. So she's checking out the boutique. All right, and so we're gonna go to the top here. And this is the beautiful bakery. I'm happy with how this came out. Again, I put this clock detail up here. I kind of messed up on the hot glue, if you can see that on the black. I'm not too crazy about that, but if I pick it off, it's going to rip the paper off. And then I put some flowers here. And this, they're just sitting on top of here. They're just, you can cut the sprigs of flowers shorter and just place them in locations around your scene, your scenes that you create. And these I got at the Dollar Tree, but I just thought that it would add a springtime flair. It almost looks Hawaiian a little bit, doesn't it? All right, so here's the bakery. And we have the chipmunks running the bakery. So there she is. So, so cute, right? I put a huge, this is the biggest window. Sorry about the reflection of the light over here um, because it's real glass on the window. Let's see if I can get rid of some of that glare for us. Okay. So I put a huge picture window in the bakery and I really, really wanted you to be able to see into the bakery and so I put the biggest picture frame I could, I, that would fit the size of the building in here. And I believe this is a five by seven. So it takes up almost the entire front of the bakery, but I'm happy I did it because you can really see what's going on in there. So we've got the displays that I got with that deluxe, deluxe cottage set. I'm going to pop this light off over here. There we go. Much better. Um, and then you can see the um, oven there. So cute. And I wanted to be able to see in here now. Mr. Chipmunk, he's in there. I think he fell. Mr. Chipmunk. Let's lift the roof off for a second here. See if we can get our hands in there without tipping everything over. 
There he is. There he is. All right, so he is bacon. He is bacon, his little bread. So, so cute. And then we got the bread stand there. And then outside of the shop, we have our little koala bakery sign. Again, all of these accessories, if you haven't followed me on my channel, this is the first video that you're looking at, came from that deluxe cottage best choice set in the earlier video. And I just love these accessories. I still want to detail the bread out a little bit. I think I can make it look a little bit more lifelike with some paint, but I haven't done that yet. And then we got little baby chipmunk here and she's got her little grocery cart filled with bread and cinnamon rolls. Yummy. And uh, the railing I still am, I want to stain this still. But in these little things I created from a YouTube video. So another YouTuber had a great idea of taking the little wooden beads from Dollar Tree, the little sprigs which I got at the Dollar Tree as well, and hot gluing them in there for a little bit of detail. And then you have Baby Chipmunk here. Hi, Baby Chipmunk. So cute, right? He's eating his hamburger, french fries, and a hot dog. And then I have these displays here with the fish and the cheese all in there. And then the green table, you might this looks familiar. This is from the town series. I just love it. It works great for outdoor sceneries. And you have brother chipmunks and he's got his cola. So cute. And then I just took that ivy and I took it up along here and down the side and it comes all the way down. It's one piece comes all the way down and around and goes over each building. It's kind of an aerial view of the town. So you've got the, the park over here. And then you've got the bistro and the boutique and the bakery. All right, so let's come down to this grassy area over here and take a look at what we got. So I used the paper now, as you can see, this is scrapbooking paper as well, and it's the grass. And you know what? It worked out really good. Doesn't it look real? But it doesn't stick up, so it's totally flat, and so it's easy to pose all the um, critters on there. So I really, really like it. So we've got our beautiful couple here, our chocolate bunnies. And they are headed into town. And then under here we have our otter family and they're headed up the stairs there to the second level, which is the bakery. And then we have this set that you saw in an earlier video. This is my gelato cart. With Father Husky serving. Our little Carmel, our little Carmel dog cutie. Got a couple more trees here in the back. And then we have our flower cart. Love this flower cart. One of my favorite things, it lights up. It's just, it was worth the $29.99 that I paid for that deluxe cottage set just it by itself. It came with all of those cute ice creams because it came with a flower shop, an ice cream shop, and a bakery. And it came with all the cash registers and the scales and the flowers and everything. And it was just really, really worth every penny. And there we go. And here is the Carmel Dog family and they run the flower, the outdoor flower shop. And she's got her little watering can there. And you've got the father here. Now you might notice his glasses. So I took that from the Tuxedo Cat Town Series Girl. <laughs> and I gave them to him because they look so cute on him. And then we've got the little child here. Probably asking daddy, when can I have an ice cream? <laughs> so cute. 
And then we got her little set back here. So we've got the little flower shop sign and we've got the little cart back there with the rake and the, the hoe and, and a shovel. So cute. And then right here in the corner, we have the Huskies on their bicycle. So, so cute, right? And we've got our street light out there. Looks good. And they're riding into town, and I don't know what they're planning to do with all that soda pop, but they're probably going to sell it or give it away. Or They are so cute. I love these Huskies. If you like any of the dogs, the Calico Critter dogs, I highly recommend. I think these are my top picks for um, the dogs. I think they're just adorable. The bike that comes with it and it's got the little rumple seat in the back so you can add a little critter there and it's got the little hook back here so you can add in other sets to it. You can attach a wagon to the back but this set is absolutely delightful and they are just so 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 cute aren't they? All right so Thank you so, so much for watching. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Click like if you like the content of this video and we'll catch you next time. And thank you so much for coming by my little Calico Critter town. And I hope that uh, this encourages you to build your own town in your own world as you imagine it in your mind and be creative and just do whatever you think would look good for you and for your calico critters and just create your own little world. I absolutely love this setup. I love it in wintertime. I love it now during summertime and springtime. And it's just really, really special to me. And every time I come in this room and I look at it, I just smile because it's just so joyful and sparks an incredible amount of joy for me as I'm sure you feel also when you watch Calico Critters and you watch other people's tours. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Click like if you like the content of this video and we will catch you next time. Bye for now.